This is the widget library that you get for free when you purchase this bundle. It's the widget library number three. Okay, so you have these little cute mason jars and I wanted to show you how why I thought of these ones. I don't know if you've seen some people use these as a way of counting the pounds or grams that you lose or kilos, I guess. Actually, let me bring this to my main page. So to do that, I'm gonna tap here. There we go, I have more room here. So I'm gonna grow it and I just wanted to show you that it's kind of transparent. So that's pretty cute. And for example, you can draw like a little heart. I just like this idea. And then just write, for example, one kilogram or one pound or however you measure how much weight you are losing. And then you can resize this and you can leave this out here, okay? So then you have your, you know, pounds to lose or lost pounds or I mean, this is kilos, whatever you want to track. And then you will copy this, tap and hold, click on paste and then just paste it. And then, you know, throughout the weeks or months or, or years even, you will see how many kilos you've lost. So I think it's a cute way of tracking this. You can also use this jar to draw flowers if you want. You know, you can get really creative here. That's why I love good notes and all of the possibilities that there are. Okay, this is not perfect, but you guys get the idea. And then what you can do also is just cut this at the end, paste it, and then it looks as though the flower is actually in the jar. So that's a few ideas that I had when creating these jars. Then you have these like all the, you know, just labels or signs and you can write stuff on it, anything you want. Then you have these ovals. These are similar to the stickers that you saw previously, but remember that your widgets actually come with a drop shadow, and that is to add to the effect of being on at the desk. So it's not the same as a sticker glued on the page, rather it's kind of like floating off the desk. That's kind of the idea. Next you have notebooks, because I really like these ones and I really like it as a widget. I wanna show you my planner, let me go find it. This is my cover, but let me go to the month of February. There we go. So I want to show you that down here, as you can see these two widgets, they have information and stuff. I have been copying them from my previous pages because I am not done with these tasks or these reminders and I still want to like have them in mind or you know, complete them and stuff. So what I do is, you know, the week is over but I didn't finish this so I just copy it, move to my next week and then tap and hold, click on paste. And then, even though it's in a week, I can bring my reminder with me. You have these cute alarm uh, widgets. And again, here you can just write, for example, 7 p.m. as a reminder for something. Or you can also write the clock arrows. You have these cute pencils. You have these like reminders or hanging boards. I like the idea of making you think of goals that you want. Or if you didn't think of goals to set for a week or a month, then with these widgets, you can keep focus of something special you want to achieve. So it says things like this, top three things I want to improve, things that I want to clean out. It's easy to get all clutter and full of things, things I want to improve. And of course, focusing on yourself, all right? Next you have these little iPhone widgets or phone widgets really and you can use these for a ton of different situations. I thought of these as flower pots but I've seen some people using these as an actual bottle of wine which really that is exactly the shape that it is. So again, be creative, use it as you want. You have some flags here, you have your circles, etc. And you have your trackers. So let me show you how these work. For example, if you want to track something like sleep, before midnight, right? So then it's not numbered or anything, but if you, let me bring it to my month. So copy up here, let's go for example to February. Yeah, so tap and hold, click on paste. You're gonna place this here. Now this is not dated, but as you can see, you know from here which day is which. So for example, February will start on the first, which is a Friday you will know that it's the third day from right to left. So this is gonna be the first day, okay? And it's gonna be easier as the month goes and you start filling this out. So every day you're gonna come back to your planner and be like, okay, so on this day I did sleep before midnight. And then tomorrow I did it again, but the next day I didn't. So then I skipped that. 
and then every day you come back and then you will be able to easily track that habit and then at the end it's gonna look something like this I mean, depending how well you did but you know it's an easy cute way to see oh how many days I actually did what I wanted to do and how many days I didn't okay so that's the idea with these trackers and you have weekly trackers up here and okay so these ones you have them with a Monday star Sunday start so anyone can use them and these ones that don't have the letters for the week you can either use it the same way as the other one so meaning that you would just look at your week and make a dot or an X whatever you know whichever day you did accomplish this goal or you can also make a little M for Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then use your highlighter or similar to just mark up the days so as you can see, I give you a ton of choices so you can like customize your stickers and really make your own stickers and widgets. Then you have these like little floating notes. I really like them. They have a tiny stitched detail. I think they're pretty. They come in different colors. You have these boxes and what I've been using, for example, if you go back here to your wig, you can place one directly under each day and then make it smaller. Okay, and then for example, this could be dinner of each day. Okay, so this is Monday's dinner, Tuesday's, and you can have three boxes. For example, if I copy this and then I paste it again, this could mean lunch and dinner. This is some cute signs where you can put quotes or any reminders that you want. Then you have these super cute emojis. And of course you have your empty widget space so that you can keep your favorites here or you can add other widgets that you purchase from other sets. You can keep them all together here, okay? And remember that your library is fully linked. So you have your different sections. You do not have an index, but you know, you can just look at here, know what's included or eventually you will kind of memorize everything that's included. 